Hello out there YouTube, welcome to the OK Good Review channel. And today guys, it's been a minute, guys, it's been a minute or so, while since uh, I've done one of these, and the way I do these is usually all right in a row, and I stack them and save them so that I can kind of get a regular posting. I try to do one or two of these every month. And what happened last year was that I had enough to go through the winter if I, there were some colored ones I could do over the winter because Spider Central, I can't shoot an aerosol in and when it's cold, I can't take it out to the garage, which is where my paint bay is because the, the paint's not gonna dry out there. So we had a very, very wet and somewhat cold spring, guys. I'm sure that's the same for any of you who are also in the United States. And it compromised my ability to do these. So there's a couple things with this one. So you notice that's an NPC. And I know if you guys have been paying attention to my other videos, I said very specifically that I'm not interested in doing any more round two figures, which is the umbrella company that owns this one and several 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 other ones. That they also have um, polar lights and a few other ones. So I wasn't going to do another NPC again after that last sort of fiasco, and I believe that was the Firebird. And I shouldn't say fiasco, it just, it, there's a lot of struggles with that vehicle. So this one, Leo saw this when we were shopping and he felt it'd be good to customize this. And I, I think it is a good platform for customization. What we're gonna be doing today, guys, is making this into a Raider Nation vehicle. So the good parts of that is that it's black, white, and chrome. And so black, white, and chrome, I'm thinking, hey, I can definitely do this over the winter. It's only two colors, maybe three if I put some gold highlights on there. Only a couple colors, maybe I have to paint the lenses or, the, or these back here, or something like that. And so I bought it because of this. Yes, because Leo wanted it, but secondly, because it was molded in black. And I said, sweet. So guys, you saw some of the other winter vehicles that I did. And after I got those done, I said, okay, cool. Molded in black, right? So you bust this open. Nothing black in here. So, obviously I couldn't do this one. And I was a little irritated with that. And then I see just now while I've been looking at this guy is that very tiny, we have molded in white. But very huge and on the front we have molded in black. This is not doing you any favors, MPC, for me to want to continue doing any of your models again. Regardless of the brand, they have a few different brands and, and I don't wanna, like this will probably be the last one. And we've got something on the license plate here. Oh, it's Dodge, okay. So we got the bumper with Dodge, this with Dodge. This is good, I'll keep all this. Uh, you can see I can paint in the lenses there for that. Some good chrome here on these things. Okay, so. Of course, to me a black. And we have yellow. Look at these guys. This isn't even white. It's this dingy, dingy yellow color. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna bust that open here in a minute, but let's take a look at the rest of this. So this is the glass. And okay. Let's see what we have here. Uh, we've got these seats, these dingy yellow seats. Um, I think these are gonna go beige. Oh, bench seats, <laughs> nice. Yes, uh, dashboard might go gray. Look guys, I'm already adding colors to this. But those will not be in the aerosol. Let's see what else we have here. I'm trying to find the spoiler. So uh, this packaging though, as much as I beat on MPC for they're substandard models. I do like this packaging of putting the chassis and the shell and everything together like so. Oh um, my. 
You know, this stuff really irritates me, guys, when I see this. Because, look, you can't use this base color. This is a lot of stuff to paint. Holy moly. So you can't use this base color, guys. I don't think I'm actually going to be painting this, though, because it should be, you know, I guess I'll have to paint a little bit of it. So I'll have to paint the wells. Hmm. Guys, I'm going to have to do some thinking here about what I want to do with this. So you guys can see the... Oh, look at this. Guys, get a load of this. So we have these chromed out... Man, this kit. So we have these chromed out wheels, which are cool. But if you look here, it's got these things, which are way cool. So, dang. Guess I'm going to have to paint those. Uh, okay, guys, I'm getting too far ahead of my... Oh, no, no, no! Oh, the spoiler. Look at this. Guys, look at this. Whoa, so many flaws. Holy macaroni, guys. <sighs> guys, I am not impressed at all with this thing so far. Wow. Okay, so this whole thing I need to paint because we've got this. And see the inserts. I can do that with a brush. Uh, chassis, you got to have that. Of course, the shell. Oh man, there's flaws all over the shell too. It's a little bit of flashing on here, guys. See so if we can take that off. I'll probably have to sand this out. Dang. Um, outside of that, it looks pretty good. Just silver dodge on front. I'm just going to leave it on the bumper. Uh, some door handles here. I'll probably have to paint. I'm going to do a live paint job on this, also, guys. I don't think I'm going to. I'll paint the hinges black. Uh, guys, I don't know. Maybe I'll go with blacked out. Blacked out door handles. I don't know. Gas port back here. <sighs> okay, so that part looks okay. These, I don't know what these are for. We'll come back to that. And tires. And okay, let's see what else we got here. Okay, so. Oh, oops, I didn't open this bag. Okay, guys, hold on. We got another bag here. There's a lot of stuff in this kit. Okay, so, boy, I was really wrong, guys. So already I've added, so no more of the black, silver, and white, guys. Obviously, we have to do red for the engine, gold for these rims. We got some seat backs here, it looks like to me. Oh, and curtains. Curtains we won't be using, but we got some, looks like some sort of vinyl seat backs or something. Ugh, got to figure out what those are. Okay, we got uh, radiator. Okay, all this is just standard painting. We have the round two line here, which is slot cars, I guess. And of course we've got, so in their lines is AMT, uh, Lindbergh, and yeah, let's get rid of that. Okay, we got a mailing card, don't need that for anything. Oh, stickers. Um, probably won't be using a lot of those, but Keep those for now okay guys so let's see if we can figure out they've got a whole pile of colors on here and I don't know that we're gonna be using all of those so um, I gotta find out what those parts are those well this is a really simple model build look at this guys there's hardly anything here drill holes for lantern pins <laughs> come on are you serious oh Man, guys, I just don't, I don't even know what these guys, I don't even know what to say. Other than why would I be drilling holes? This one, we're going to have a lot of this covered up by seats, I hope. So I got to try to figure out something for this floor. I think this might go, I might just do the whole thing tan maybe or do the floor gray or something. I don't know, guys. We've got wood posts. I want to put wood posts in there. This is going to be very heavily modified, guys. I'm not doing a lot of this stuff at all. Oh, man. Okay. So, the big question that we have here at the moment is, what are these things for? All right. So, this so it goes in these front things. So, those are going to need to be black also. But, I can hand paint those. So, I'll put that in here. Okay, guys. So, oh, I got to figure out what these are for, too. This looks like stuff that would go on the inside, though, huh? 
Okay, so these go on the inside um, of this. I'm not sure why though, this already has a pattern on it, that's weird. So I guess if you want this frilly junk, and we're probably not using this one actually. So, okay guys, so anyway, anyway guys, so here we go. We are, we're gonna, we're gonna shoot this one on the outside anyway. So this one is gonna, this one's gonna be a trial because there's so many different things to paint here. We're probably gonna do two tones. We'll do lighter on this, do darker gray in here. So lighter, lighter right here, darker in here. Probably beige on the walls. And yeah, the outside we'll probably shoot a little black on. This one is a spoiler and the front thing, this one has to all go black. This one is the chassis, that'll go black. And of course this one will go black as well. Um, I'm debating, let's see here. Let's see how much of this actually makes it in. So I don't need to paint the inside of this actually at all. I'm probably gonna mist a little bit in there, just, just to be sure. But really we just need to get a good coat on the outside of this. So we're gonna do that guys. Take this out to the paint shop and get these three things painted up guys. And we'll see you back in Spider Central. Okay guys, before I get started, I just wanted to go over my painting rig here real quick with you. To the far left of your screen is a light that I use for filming. There are the parts that are scattered right there in the center along with the instructions at the bottom. At the very top you can see there's some toothpicks I use for stirring. To the, to the right of that is the paints I'll be using on here. So we have beige, some grays, black, white, and some gold. And I think I might do some steel accents also. Uh, over to the right of that is the thinner and the water that I use to uh, take the, the paint out of the brushes. And then of course there's an array of cutting tools and sanding tools and the glue beyond that. I haven't chosen brushes yet guys. I just wanted to kind of show you what my setup looks like before I get started. So I get all this set up and then uh, we go from there. So I wanted to show you guys what this looks like right now with the first coat guys. So this is one of the hugest problems guys I tend to always have with the uh, MPC models. They don't like paint to stick to them without primer and you can see it's all those white spots. So I'm gonna have to fix those guys. I'm gonna shoot a second coat on most of those. Probably gonna have to do the roof again on the van. Sides look okay. Might have to do a little bit there. Uh, I did get guys, so one of the presents I got this year was, for Christmas was this Pasha VL series airbrush system guys. I have never used an airbrush in my life. Uh, I know vaguely how they work, but I might be testing this out, guys, to do some touch-up on the uh, on the van, guys. I might be using this for the very first time for this video, guys. I'm keeping it down here just in case, but I like to do brushwork, guys, so I'm going to start with brushwork and see how that goes. If I can't get those white spots out, though, with the rest of the Tamiya aerosol I have left, then I'm going to put this Tamiya black into this thing and just try it out and see how it goes. Um, I assume it uses power. So I've got power set up here guys. You can see my rigging here. Uh, there's the camera system. So that'll be pointing down here when I actually get to painting. And of course there's my magnifying light. Here's the rest of my tool kit. And there is my painting block as well. So. Uh, there it is guys and wait till the aerosol is done and From there guys, we should be seeing the painting as the next stage of this video
Hey guys, I just want to pause for a second here with the painting all pretty much done and kind of just look at some of my color choices. So for the actual shell, you guys can see there, I decided to go with a quad tone. So we've got black, we've got a light gray metallic, we have beige, and we have a light gray for the floor. And I'm pretty happy with how that came out. It looks pretty good. Moving to the seats, we have a wash effect for the bench with bronze, to me a bronze. And Leo really likes gold, so I did the rims in gold for him. A little bit of chrome. I'm going with with gold and then white facers for the tires. Uh, the body will be black. The only thing I have left to paint is a little bit of touch up on the inside. Any errors when it comes to assembly that I'll have to go through. So I've got chrome, I've got red, and I've got black for all those. On this one, we want just black for the chassis. Of course, guys, by now, this is getting to be my trademark. To me, a gunmetal for the dash. I don't think I've done any other dash color, actually. I think they've almost all been gunmetal. I love that color. It spreads well. The bronze, to me, a bronze is not very good. Uh, honestly, this is the, one of the dead colors. Beige, tan, whatever it is, outstanding. Uh, the seat risers, I also went with tan with the bronze. Should work pretty well. Went with some steel, silver for the engine. Uh, of course, there's the pulley system. You see the red for the engine there. The drive shaft and the uh, axle are going to be steel this time around instead of silver. And so I, I used... Maybe not as many colors as I usually do, guys. Um, and, and, of course, if you guys watched the paint, you saw the majority of it. Like I said, there is a little bit of touch-up left to do. But outside of that, guys, and, and that'll probably be off-camera because some of it's going to be customizing the uh, shell of the van. And I, I, I don't, I don't want to do that until the reveal. Well, I guess, guys, if you've seen the thumbnail, you've already seen what I did. So, but I'm kind of excited about that. That's going to be, it's going to be everything I do, guys, is live. So I don't use a whole lot of tape. I haven't used any tape on this. It's all just live brushwork, which is very often a challenge, but uh, I'm, I'm getting a kick out of it, guys. I'm so far pretty happy with this build. Uh, this pla I hate this plastic. I'm, like I said, really not ever motivated to do another... MPC or anything from round two ever again after I clear them out and and I, I've got I think two or three after this I've got a Lindbergh and I think I have another AMT After that guys though for real unless I really really in love with the model You won't see any more of these on the channel. It'll probably just be Ravel and to me uh, Those sort of, those sorts of things just because the like it it's it's agonizing to me to sit and have to deal with with uh, plastic that likes to repel paint constantly uh, so a lot of this guys I did have to do a lot of going back and retouching and retouching and retouching what's odd though is that not all the paints reacted in that way so not being able to predict what the paints are going to do is really problematic when you're doing one of these so with the Ravels I never have to worry about that Ravels hold whatever you throw at them these MPCs and the AMTs and all this kind of stuff. Ugh. Yeah, guys, very, very displeased with whatever plastic round two is using. It's it's not good for for paint. And I don't feel like I'm going to prime every single thing that there is. Because a lot of these guys, you look at a lot of this, a lot of stuff on this tree I'm not using. You know, a lot of the chrome, a lot of these white ones, a lot of these are actually just going to be junked after this. But I'm not using a lot of them. And... So wasting primer on every single thing to me is just something I'm not going to do. So you really won't ever see that. There are other channels, guys. If you want to see what that looks like, strongly encourage you to check those guys out. They could probably use some viewing love too. Everybody on YouTube needs viewers. So anyway, guys, from here we'll be going on to the assembly and we will see you guys then.
Okay, guys, and here we have the final result of what started out as this MPC 1982 Bad Company Dodge Van, guys, has become the Raider Nation vehicle. I decided to kind of go for a blacked out tailgating motif. So this thing is just, you can see, black and silver all the way blacked out except for the logo on the side uh, and I did put gold rims on here for Leo and on the back again we just have a nice emblem here guys on the back uh, these doors don't open so I didn't slit the uh, decal uh, on the back you can see I've got a touch up right there in the mirror I gotta do still and here's the passenger side so this one, guys, could be displayed from any position, which is kind of what I was going for uh, once I fix that little hiccup right there. So there it is, guys. Get a good look. Now, you can sort of see how I tanned out the interior, and you can kind of see the gray of the floor. There's really not a lot of view windows. This is another one where they, the idea was that you could cut the roof of this, but... Uh, I don't like doing that, so I didn't. And honestly, so there's a lot of issues with this with this thing. I mean, we start out, look, right? We have this slop up here, which is great. Don't really have any down here. What we do have is this rear end covering is actually bent up. You can see it right there. So it's bent up. It doesn't stay firm on the on the axle. And you can see here. There's some some minor mold issues there with that. Uh, there were a number of mold issues here. I didn't put any, ex so the exhaust is running right off the headers <laughs> for this one, guys, which is fine. I mean, you can see the fan underneath here. I'm not sure why there's an engine at all because there's no way to open this hood. Like, you can't see this engine unless you look at it from the bottom. So, the... Um, Threshold is a little lower on this vehicle, I would say, than some of the other ones, but uh, the bottom, I, th I think, comes out, actually, I like this. It's a nice, clean look. Uh, would have been nice to have exhaust in here somewhere, but unfortunately, so th there's a lot of parts I wound up having. I had to delete the spoiler, for instance. The spoiler system, uh, as you see right there on the box, is awful. This is, there's just a lot of dumb engineering choices. There's just not another word for it. They're just dumb. You can see the... This didn't line up exactly. The The rear wheels are a little too close to the front of this. I mean, it, they'll still roll, but it lines up, however, perfectly up here. It's one of the major issues I have with MPC is their stuff doesn't like to line up. Uh, I left the door handles blacked out. I left the gas port blacked out. I didn't. I blacked out these, ta these uh, turn signal lights. It's really, I was just trying to go for, for, that, for that nice, clean look. I was thinking about putting something on the roof, but, you know, realistically, no one would ever see this. I uh, could see the mirrors there on the side, but I'm, I'm actually pretty pleased with how this came out. With themed vehicles, guys, I mean, that's, you know, kind of what you start thinking of is, is what, you know, how do you want the end result to kind of be? And, and as long as it's within reason for the end result, guys, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I mean, I'm not upset. The one thing I do like about MPC a bit. Uh, you can't see any of the seats. Of course, the seats you would have to remove this to be able to do. But one of the things um, I do like is their axle system. I personally don't care if the wheels turn, but that's something that Leo Matic likes quite a bit. And this vehicle is made for him. This is this is. Uh, I made this basically just for Leo. Leo and I are both Raiders fans, and I just thought it'd be kind of cool to have a Raiders Nation vehicle again. This one was supposed to be done during the winter. Uh, but since they couldn't be bothered to mold it in black, and you can see the paint job came out really well on this, uh, somewhat amazingly, <laughs> on the exterior. Uh, it, it came out decently on the bottom. You can still see there's some flaws in there and touch-ups touch, touch -ups where I had to I had to do things. Um, and I'll come back and fix this one as well. So I have that, the, the mirror, it, it actually pulled a little paint because the... It's just funky the way that NPC's molds are not great. And I'm pretty pleased to actually have this one come out as well as it did, guys. 
it was it was uh, there was a big question mark as to whether or not that was actually going to happen, um, just because of the nature of the MPC molds. And honestly, I think if I would have tried to cut it, uh, it probably it probably would not have come out anywhere near that well, guys. But so there it is, guys. The MPC 1982 Bad Company Dodge van customized into the Raider Nation van, the tailgating van, guys. This would be an awesome van to tailgate in because these things had a ton of room in them. Uh, it'd be very loud to be next to this one, but because it's again the exhaust is coming out the headers. But honestly, guys, so I put the silver on here, and I did not like how that looked for the exhaust pipe. So yeah, that's not a that's not a deletion. I'm at all upset about. The spoiler was kind of annoying, but again, the spoiler system is. Just horrible, and the instructions honestly are not very good either, so uh, this will almost certainly be the last MPC kit that I ever do, guys, just because these things are way, way, way too fighty, and outside of me scavenging some of my old parts to actually fix their stupid mold, which I'm not always super inclined to do, it, it just is, it, it's more uphill than I think it should be, so this is, anyway, this is probably the last one. But there is a look at this, guys. If you did enjoy this build, guys, please go see old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already, guys. Hit the blue bell next to the red subscribe button if you like to be no final latest greatest content that's going available, guys, including more model builds. Yay! Guys, you can also follow us on our Twitter feed, which is Twitter specific content. And it is also updated generally as soon as videos and playlists are created or posted, guys. So. Uh, definitely follow us on Twitter if you guys would care to do that. Uh, we also have a blog if anybody is interested in that sort of thing. Guys, leave us a comment. Be interested to hear from you guys. There's uh, there's a few people that uh, have commented on some of my previous model builds. Always love to hear from you guys. Always appreciate you guys taking the time to comment. Some of the comments aren't necessarily uh, thrilled, guys, with my process and how I approach models. Which is okay. There's a lot of way. All roads lead to Rome, guys. And for me, the end result is kind of what I'm looking at. I'm not, this is not something I do professionally. I don't do this as a career or anything like that, guys. If I did, I probably would take a much more different approach to it. But guys, I don't mind some comments and criticisms and, and thoughts and things like that, guys. But it is important, in my view, guys, since all these comments are monitored, that Everyone is respectful when they come through because if not, I'm going to delete your comment and I will not spend another second thinking about them. But guys, we do appreciate everyone that takes the time and I do like hearing from you. All this stuff is filtered though, guys. So come through, be respectful. And I the first to admit that I'm not perfect with how I do this, nor am I trying to be, guys. I'm an amateur, I'm a hobbyist. This is something I do for fun and because my kid likes it. So if you're looking for something a little bit higher end, tons of channels out there, guys. Everybody needs viewers. And you, you check around, guys. You can find those as well. Anyway, though, that's going to do it for us this time. We will see you all next time. Bye-bye.